2018 Kia Picanto Hatchback Review The Good Points of Kia Picanto Hatchback Stylish yet practical body style Well equipped, well made interior Plenty of trims to select from Easy to push Big boot for the size the bad points of Kia Picanto hatchback Engines need spending so much time Styling could possibly be fussy for most Slightly higher running costs than rivals Since taking place sale this year, the outgoing Kia Picanto found greater than 1.4 million homes during its life cycle, with in excess of 300,000 of the in Europe Kia's smallest model from the lineup is very important, it's the fourth best selling model inside the UK range. The new one aims to carry on that success following the Korean company's philosophy of your great ownership prospect for customers that has a combination of sporty styling, a generous equipment tally and practicality. The new Picanto's wheelbase has exploded 15mm above the old model and also the wheels are more detailed the edges from the car, seeking to improve interior space and supply a more grown-up, refined driving experience. With competition on the Hyundai i10, the Volkswagen UPS go to Citigo Seat Mitriumvirate, Vauxhall Viva, Renault Wingo and Peugeot 108 Citroën C1 and Toyota Go. The brand new Kia Picanto features a job on its hands if this wants to dominate the location car class. Kia's family look is there and correct. From the outer, the brand new Picanto is easily recognizable for being part with the Kia family using its Tiger Nose front grille, big headlamp units and gaping lower bumper. At a corner it's a less complicated design seems more quite like its predecessor than at the front end but it's neat with LED lights plus a practical, wide-opening tailgate for entry to the boot. Kia claims it provides more load space than any one of its rivals, however, you can watch more details on that within the practicality portion of this review. Choice of three petrol engines From launch, the Kia Picanto engine range is made of two petrol engines. A single 0 liter three cylinder unit with 67 horsepower and a much more powerful 84 horsepower 1.25 liter petrol that you'll find underneath the bonnet on the outgoing car. Joining the product range later in 2017 is really a turbocharged 100 horsepower 1.0 liter TGDI engine found inside larger Rio and Seed and may likely be a well-known choice for those covering higher miles on faster roads, particularly in combination with higher spec models. Familiar, well-equipped trim levels The Picanto will abide by the usual Kia numerical trim level structure, 1,2,3, with sporty-looking GT-Line and GT-Line S specifications made available. All cars come having a radio electric front windows and six airbags as standard. The premium GT Line S trim includes goodies such as enough, heated seats and tire, a sunroof, cruise control and Bluetooth phone connectivity. The Verdict With the 2017 Picanto, Kia has another leap forward. It's a good value choice from the super mini sector and puts up a stiff challenge contrary to the mainstream challengers, such as Ford Fiesta and Vauxhall Casa. It's beautiful, well-crafted, offers a good amount of kit and space. Combine this with Kia's famous 7-year warranty, this is hard never to recommend this car on rational grounds. Watch the whole Kia Picanto hatchback review when it should be on your own city car shortlist. Petrol power could be the only option. All engines need making an effort. Turbo petrol may very well be worth looking forward to. If you're considering a Kia Picanto as the next car, it's likely that you're not racing it around country lanes or on the motorway for a huge selection of miles at a time.
That's an excellent because Kiapakanto performance isn't the strongest if you want to press on. However, that's not what this car is all about at all so that it would be unfair to mark it down for not managing something like a large saloon. Around town, the entry-level 1.0-liter petrol with 67 horsepower feels surprisingly eager as a result of respectable throttle response as well as a thrummy three-cylinder soundtrack egging herself. Come to some hill though, plus it runs out of puff rapidly, meaning you have to gain and keep momentum coming up to it, or make a good use from the 5-speed manual gearbox. Luckily, it's slick and precise that has a short throw whenever you do should change down a cog or two. Keep the revs high as well as its 96 newton meters of torque will endeavor to drag you in the hill. This engine may go from 06 2 miles per hour in 14.3 seconds, so don't seek to initiate any drag races for the lights unless you're on a bicycle. Offering more responsive performance will be the 1.25 liter with 84 horsepower and 122 newton meters of torque, again driven using the front wheels as well as a 5 speed manual gearbox. A 4 speed automatic is conveniently obtainable with this engine. It's normally the one to go for in case you regularly drive out of town as a result of more power and torque, it's that tiny bit more flexible and you also won't inevitably be changing down gears quite as often. However, it doesn't contain the character on the three-cylinder unit and isn't everything that inspiring to rev over to the red line. This engine will require the Pukdo from 06 2 miles per hour in 12.0 seconds 13.7 seconds with the auto. The 1.0 liter TGDI is possibly the antidote in the event you need more performance but nonetheless want some three cylinder character. We're yet to operate a vehicle of the Pukdo using this type of engine installed. But a 06 2 miles per hour use of 10.1 seconds is usefully nippier versus the other two offerings, but it'll without doubt be the more costly option. For now, when you're just poodling about town, the 1.0 liter is ideal and can keep the costs down. If you are doing need to stretch its legs in the weekend, the 1.25 liter could make motorway driving more relaxing and fewer labored. Gearboxes Standard on all versions in the Pukendo is usually a 5-speed manual gearbox. Its slick and precise make use of and feels well matched to your car's engines and character. The gear lever falls easily to hand plus the throw with the gearbox isn't too much time, either. Those looking for an automatic contain the option of getting a 4-speed automatic, which we're yet to sample. It's only provided by the 1.2 liter petrol though. Composed handling. Accurate steering. But still not exciting. Kia worked as a chef hard to help the way in which the modern Pukunto handles. Despite being precisely the same overall length since the car it replaces. The wheelbase continues to be lengthened by 15 mm along with the wheels are actually right at the sides of the auto, besides boosting interior space but in addition its stability traveling. It's noticeable too, with civilized road manners making the Pukdo feel a more impressive car PC really is. Body control is tidy with simply a little roll present over the corners, whilst the stiffened anti-roll bars let the car to corner more flatly. The steering is well weighted too, avoiding the typical issue of artificially light feeling steering that afflicts a lot of its city car rivals. Impressive numbers of grip mean you are able to corner inside the Pukdo faster than you imagine, which can be reassuring when you ever misjudge a decent bend, one example is. On the move, the Pukdo feels agile, specifically when zipping around city streets. The turning circle is tight and visibility is perfect for maneuvering, too. The Pukendo also seems to t-watch the cloth slime between comfortable and sporty. While it drives well, it doesn't have overly firm suspension that jores over harsh bumps inside road, 
It copes admirably when presented having a pothole or broken road surfaces rather than transmits them for the cabin an excessive amount of. It strikes an extraordinary balance. However, if comfort is the priority we'd stop the 16-inch rims on sporty high-spec trim levels. They might look great, though the effect on ride comfort is noticeable. The imperfections of any normal road surface are amplified, while larger bumps and cracks are transmitted in the cabin having a sharper, more uncomfortable edge. Interior design like all other Kia. Attractive, user-friendly design. Feels solid and well-built. Kia makes huge strides using the cabin on the new Pinto, taking cues on the larger cars in the range. Dominating the dashboard can be a 7-inch touchscreen infotainment system that sits proud on the dash and is particularly very easy to use as a result of clear graphics and big buttons to gain access to key functions. Lower down, the heating and ventilation controls are really simple to get to, while the controls feels nice with you. There are some nice design touches like the upright air vents at either side from the cabin along with a bit of full wood trim making the within feel a bit wider laptop or computer really is. It's easy to find a comfortable driving position, but be aware that the Picanto doesn't currently enable seat height adjustment. This likely won't be an issue for average height drivers, although that relating to an exceptionally tall or short stature may struggle. Visibility is great too, because of lots of glass, lower window lines and small pillars, making the Vista out great indeed. Comfort levels are high from the Picanto. Comfortable seats are supportive. Suspension soaks in lumps and bumps. The big car feel from the Picanto is essentially down to its interior as well as the grown-up driving experience. The cabin is usually a pleasant location to spend time using a practical design which allows the driver for getting comfortable simply. There's average degrees of adjustment inside comfortable driver's seat, while the leader only adjusts for angle, you are able to move it to send and receive. Visibility is great and all the auto's controls are within easy reach and so are clearly labeled, it's easy to navigate about the Picanto's cabin. Impressive Ride Comfort In relation to ride comfort, the Picanto strikes a fantastic balance between being good they are driving and relaxing. The suspension soaks in harsh bumps adequately indeed, and do not transmit it through on the cabin. We drove your vehicle on a blend of smooth Spanish tarmac and broken rural roads plus it coped wonderfully indeed while using worst surfaces. There were no rattles and also the car remained composed the entire time. 5 trim levels from 1 to GT line S. Mid-range cars provide everything most buyers requires. Top of the range GT line S adds. While standard equipment on entry level grade 1 cars could be sparse. There is a lot of essential gadgets and conveniences being offered in mid-range to premium spec models. Standard Kia Picanto Hatchback Equipment 1. Opt for that base spec 1 car and there's little inside way of standard equipment. Included from the price is electric front windows, remote locking, FMAM radio with O and USB ports, a tilt adjustable tire. 6 airbags and 60 hours 40 minutes split folding rear seats. 2. Move as much as grade 2, likely to function as the most popular from the UK, and essentials for instance aircon, electric rear windows, heated electric door mirrors and Bluetooth phone connectivity are typically standard. There's another few visual tweaks included, too, for instance a leather trim leader and gear lever. Bonnie colored door handles and side mirror housings, a chrome grill surround plus 14 inch alloy wheels as opposed to steel rims. 3. 
Trim Grade 3 could be the first to feature autonomous emergency braking as standard from the Advanced Driving Assistance Pack, it being optional on 1 and 2 spec cars. Featuring pedestrian recognition efforts to stop vehicle if an individual walks outside in front, it's available for an option on 1 and 2 spec cars. Other standard goodies incorporate a 7-inch infotainment screen, SafeNav, climate control, rear parking sensors and rear parking camera, 15-inch alloy wheels, cruise control and also a 6-speaker DA penabled head unit. Electric folding mirrors are included, handy for in case you frequently park on narrow streets. GT Line GT Line is truly one of two trim levels that such as a number of striking visual tweaks on the Pekindo's styling. Sports back and front bumpers and side sills adorn GT Line Pekindo's, just like standard fit dual exhausts, red and black faux leather seats, LED indicators daytime running lights and privacy glass on a corner windows and tailgate. There's little within the way of additional equipment on the two-spec car though, meaning in the event you want the sporty looks and also a full list of gadgets, top-spec GT Line S will be the only way to go. GT Line S The Pocinto's flagship trim level, GT Line S includes all the style and visual addenda from the regular GT Line cars, yet adds a swath more equipment in conjunction with it. So in addition for the standard kit on three spec cars, GT Line S adds big car tech for example keyless entry and keyless ignition, heated seats, a heated steering and wireless phone charging. There's even a sunroof, a rarity on small city cars. Optional Kia Picanto hatchback accessories. As will be the case with many Kias, there's very little to select from in the way of optional extras. Thankfully there's still a thorough choice of exterior colors available, from subtle standard and optional shades, to louder plus more distinctive premium hues. Included inside the latter is silver frost, chili red and pop orange, all guaranteed to make your Picanto stand out through the crowd. Safety good with optional kit. Autonomous emergency braking available. Stiffer structure must be beneficial. The Pekindo's lighter, stronger structure only agreed to be enough correctly to score a 3-star rating inside the 2017 Euron Cap crash tests, only rising to 4 stars for versions fitted with automatic emergency braking ebb. There are 6 airbags as standard having an optional knee airbag available, too, and also several active safety systems. There's VSM Vehicle Stability Management with Escape Electronic Stability Control which keeps the vehicle in check by braking when cornering too vigorously, while EB can also be standard on 3 specification and above. Tire Pressure Monitoring also keeps an eye on your own tires for you personally, and can pin up a warning within the dashboard whenever they drop below what they needs to be. Plenty of Passenger Space Choice of 4 or 5 seats. Biggest boot inside city car class. Due towards the wheelbase increase, the Pocinto offers more space before, and one with the most spacious interiors among its rivals. There's an abundance of space inside the front for two adults, it's merely the narrow body that could make it feel more cramped, but that's the truth for any city car. In the spine, there's enough room for two adults to stay comfortably on longer journeys, although fitting a fifth passenger in within the odd occasion is a bit of your squeeze. There's no three-door option from the Pocinto, so access to the trunk is easy via wide opening rear doors which would have been a boon for fogies needing to fit child seats inside the rear. Class Leading Boot Space the boot on the new Picanto is larger than all its main rivals at 255 liters. The Volkswagen Up Skoda Citigo Seat Mitrio and Hyundai i10 come near to rivaling the Picanto, but others such as Vauxhall Viva and Peugeot 108 Citroën C1 Toyota Go are well off the pace.
There's a spurta level boot floor to look at advantage of too, and whether or not this is within the highest position and you have to fold the trunk seats down, you'll be presented that has a flat load area in the event the seats are folded. Space is usually a generous 1010 liters when you choose to do this. Plenty of storage throughout. Kia has lavished storage spaces on the newest Pinto. The door bins are of any decent size and definitely will fit a water bottle plus some odds and ends, even though the compartment below the aircon controls is large and broken into two because of a little shelf inside the middle. For initially in a city car in accordance with Kia there's a tiny sliding armrest between front seats with sufficient storage inside for a tiny bottle or perhaps a pair of sunglasses. Thank you.